it's finally cooling down, which means you can finally conceal carry everything that you really want to. You get to wear those oversized hoodies and really conceal carry everything your heart desires. No longer are you stuck in the boundaries of simple t-shirts. You are the man that you wanted to be. Don't let summer clothes hold you back. Get a Tacticon hoodie today. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just kidding. Yes, I did. It's me, Nolan from Tacticon Armament, and today we're talking about this. The Tacticon Armament Deep Concealment Concealment Holster. Now, I know what you're thinking. Don't yell at me just yet. You're saying, Nolan, we've talked about this. We've gone over it. Why are you making me watch this again? I am. I am forcing you to watch this. But the reason we're going over it again is because I feel like I didn't do it justice. And I believe in justice. It's a symbol. And you can't kill a symbol. As a man, I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored. I can be destroyed. But as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. So let's go over it today. I'm gonna to give you a more detailed breakdown. Really get into the nitty gritty of it. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna do it what it deserves. So let's get to it. First things first, let's talk about the included mag carrier. Each one of our products is going to be labeled with the firearm that it accompanies. So that way you never get confused on which one goes to which firearm. You're welcome. Each one of the products is equipped with this nice hooked clip. And what that does is it hooks over the belt to ensure that the product is not gonna come out of your pants when you actually have to reach in and draw out your magazine or your firearm that you're carrying. It's comfortable and it's gonna last in there all day long. Each mag carrier is universal. So depending on where you like to carry your magazine, you can simply undo these two screws, flip it over, put it on the other side, and now it's equipped for the other hand draw. It's a customizable experience we thought of just for you. So let's break down into the meat and potatoes, the reason we're all here. Now I briefly wanna to touch on why you see concealed carrier on this clip as well as on the magazine. So let's talk about it. Concealed carrier and Tacticon armament are same, same. Concealed Carrier focuses on the concealment side of the business, while Tacticon Armament focuses on more tactical situations and products. More plate carriers and so on, while we focus on the everyday things over at Concealed Carrier. Now that that's out of the way, let's discuss the features of this bad boy. First, let's talk about the clip. I know you're saying, I already saw this, you talked about it on the magazine holder. Well, it's a little bit different here. Same clip, now it has a 20 degree adjustable cant. What that means is you simply undo this screw and you have 20 degrees of adjustable carry position. This means you're not stuck to a single position. You can move it around however you feel and ride it for your body. So moving on to the tactical claw. First down here, there are two retention points. That means these two screws are how you adjust how tight you want your holster to hold your firearm. How loud you want the pop of that holster, if you will. From here, we move up to the claw. What is the claw and what is its purpose? The claw is a thought out piece of technology. It's simple in its appearance and yet it does so much. Where the hook here is going to ride over the belt and hook on so it stays, the claw rides on the inside of the pant line. It rides on the inside of the belt and pushes against it. Where this is sitting like this on the belt, the claw pushes against it like so. Now, what does that do? That's going to push the grip of the firearm against the body. So no longer are you going to be printing by sticking out the handle of your firearm 
through your t-shirt for everyone at the supermarket to see. Now it's going to be pressed nice and tight against the body, tight enough so it's not going to be seen through the clothing, but comfortable enough to wear all day. Nice. We also include an extra spacer for the claw. Right here is about a quarter inch, and this one, the spare one that comes with it, is about a half inch, depending on how much concealability you want. And we all also offer a third option where you just simply take this off and use the claw without the added wedge piece. All together, it's a customizable experience for how you want to wear the holster. It's meant to be as comfortable and minimal as possible to provide you the highest level of concealment and comfort we can offer. Working our way around this beautiful holster, we come to the top. Why is this so large, you might say? Well, this is our sight channel, and it's tall enough to accommodate those beautiful suppressor height sights. Some might argue the better of pistol sights. The reason that is, is because every single one of our holsters has an optic cut. That means you can run your favorite style of pistol dot with each one of your firearms, accommodate those beautiful suppressor height sights, and you're all set in this one lovely package. Now, moving on to the back of the holster itself, we have a nice flat profile. This is going to allow comfortability while you carry all day long. If you include the added foam wedge, you will get a little bit of pressure pushing back into your body. But we make it nice and flat, so it's going to fit properly against your body and not give you any hot spots or pressure points that might ensue. Following it up, this is the sweat shield. This is going to cover your body as well as the slide of the firearm. So that way you don't have those nasty, aggressive serrations digging into your skin, making you uncomfortable. This is truly a holster that you can wear all day long, feel comfortable, be concealed, and at the price point it hits at, with a free mag pouch, customizable tactical claw, adjustable cant, optics cut, adjustable retention. That's a hard bargain to beat, brother. Last thing that I wanna talk about is the ride of this holster. Not the roller coasters at Six Flags. I'm talking about the way this sits in your pant line. This is considered a deep concealment holster. And to some of you, that might seem confusing or not really self-explanatory. Deep concealment. This is going to ride deeper in the pant line than some other holsters. It's going to conceal more of the firearm underneath your actual pants and belt line than some other holsters. Some holsters like to sit a little bit higher, especially some of the outside the waistband holsters. Those are gonna ride high on the body. But since we're riding inside the pant line, we're able to go deep. That way the holster is going to be less obtrusive when carrying it all day long. Now, let's show you how it works and enough of this talking head. Let's break it down. Let's show you uh, maybe a drill or two. Let's get to it. Now that we've got all of our safety gear on, let's quickly run over how to draw from concealment. I figure it's important considering the topic of this video. For those of you who don't know, this is for you. For those who do, maybe you might learn something or you can scamper on ahead. Either way, let's run over it. This is for an appendix carry draw. This is how most of you are probably going to be carrying with this holster, and this is how I'm carrying. Regardless of the position, it's a similar motion. All right, so let's break into it. For the appendix carry position, what we're going to do is we're gonna take our non-dominant hand, so our non-shooting hand, and we're going to clear away the garment, shirt, sweatshirt, whatever it may be. I'm going to grab and raise that up as high as I can. I want it completely out of the way of the firearm. From there, I'm going to take my dominant hand or my shooting hand and get a good grip on the firearm. Sometimes it's difficult to wrap that thumb around, so you can rest it on the back of the firearm, but make sure you are still acquiring a good shooting grip in the meantime. So I come up, establish my grip, draw up, 
that thumb slides over so I get my good grip and I come into that retention position in case I'm in a situation in close quarters, tight combat, that sort of thing. From here, I'm going to match my hands together, press out, acquire my shooting stance, whether I'm sliding out in more of an isosceles position or if I'm sliding back and getting more of a fighting stance. From there, then you can take your shots, lift the garment back up, thumb on the back of the firearm, finger off the trigger and into the actual holster. Let's run it through one more time. Garment comes up, hand on the firearm, draw out, retain, hands together, press, fire the shots, garment up, finger off the trigger, back into the holster. Go slow, take it step by step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it slow, you don't have to go fast. Get it proficient and smooth so that way you don't mess up, especially when you're trying it for the first time. Go and do it dry fire before you put any ammunition in your firearm so that way you get the mechanics down and you don't shoot yourself in the leg. I don't want you to shoot yourself in the leg. You don't want you to shoot yourself in the leg. Just don't do it. Thanks for watching. Please get down there, like, comment, subscribe. Do all those good things. We need it. We love it. It fuels our fire and it provides food on my table. Otherwise, Jake won't let me out of the well. So thank you, I appreciate it. Keep on rocking, boys. I have a partial belief. Now bear with me, because it's, it's stupid, and I know it's stupid. But part of me believes that we shouldn't wear eye or ear pro when we practice CCW drills. Think about it. It makes sense a little bit but it doesn't. I said it was a dumb thought. Don't look at me like this guy's an idiot.